Hello, I'm Laura from Foxtech, and today we're answering a common question. Can an iPhone measure room temperature? Let's get straight to the point. iPhones do not have a built-in temperature sensor for measuring room temperature directly. Unlike some specialized devices, an iPhone isn't designed to detect ambient temperature, so there's no way to check how warm or cold a room is using just your phone. However, you can measure room temperature if you use a third-party smart thermometer. These devices connect to your iPhone via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and display temperature readings in their companion apps. Some of the most popular options include Govi, SensorPush, and TempStick, all of which give you real-time temperature readings straight from your phone. If you have a HomeKit-enabled thermostat, you can also check the temperature through the Home app. Devices like Nest, Ecobee, and other HomeKit-supported thermostats send temperature data directly to your iPhone, allowing you to monitor it remotely. If your home is already set up with smart devices, this can be an easy way to keep track of the temperature. Some weather apps also claim to provide indoor temperature estimates, but these aren't based on actual sensor data from your phone. Instead, they use local weather information and basic calculations to guess the indoor temperature. This can give you a rough idea, but it's not a reliable way to measure the temperature in your specific room. Interestingly, the only Apple device that actually has a built-in thermometer is the HomePod Mini. This isn't a widely known fact, and Apple doesn't really emphasize the feature. But the HomePod Mini does have a sensor that can measure the temperature and humidity of the room it's in. However, its use is somewhat limited compared to a dedicated thermometer. So, if you want to measure room temperature accurately, the best solution is to use a dedicated thermometer and log the data on your iPhone. That way, you get real, reliable measurements instead of estimates. That's everything you need to know. If this video helped, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tips. See you later.